I'm gonna have to get off this shit, dog. I can Love that back. Uh, hey man, you trip. Hey, 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 boo. Yeah, that bro. nigga that daycare look. So I tell you, hey, babe, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yes, man. Sir. Go ahead and marry my dog in the family, man. We make this shit official, man. Well, it'd be a lot of Not people that. going around it, dude. Oh, a lot of people. Ah. <laughs> uh, but nah, man, I'm trying to get my live back on, man. What you say? Man, I gotta leave, cause I might say something that I shouldn't. And I can't type fast enough. Yo, go ahead and leave, motherfucker. <laughs> I have to kill a nigga now. Come I'm on, man. You. you gonna have to go ahead, cause I'm gonna get my feeling. I'm trying to keep this shit sane. Man, go ahead, go watch you some power or some P Valley. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, uh, what is it? Grey's Anatomy or something. Nah, before I had to, uh, alright, now nah, my bye. <laughs> hey, real quick though, hold on, P Valley boy, you brought us some fire shit, boy. I ain't that we ain't getting paid for this, but that's a fire show. I can't even lie. I yeah, can't even lie, boy. I'm so mad. Yo, no, mad at first, boy. I don't put my dog on the P Valley, dog. My dog like, man, what's going on this shit, man? Punk ass shit, nigga. Oh man, shit, my mama fire. just hopped on. My dudes, what's happening? We talking about P Valley, just fire, fire show. Man. My dog on it now. He's stuck. Okay. I don't watch it. I don't watch it. Nah, hey, hey, it's fire, bro. They gonna have to, um, they gonna have to uh, promote like that. Cause, boy, that been fine. And we sitting there talking about this shit. But, hey, matter of fact, you be seeing them strippers on there, but they be going crazy. What? And they be, like, getting bodies. Matter of fact, bro, talk about Shorty with the baby, though. What? Boy, she getting right on them light skin, John. Boy. <laughs> matter of fact, what? hey, quick, quick, John, that take me to another question. Oh, we got my boy Indigo in the building. What's happening? Oh, I had a question too, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, uh, man, like, I be just noticing a lot of women when they talk, bro. They always beefing with, like, another kind of woman. And why y'all be beefing with each other? Y'all, y'all I think that, I think women made up sex, bro. You think, duh? Because yeah, it be dark skin like fighting against light skin. <laughs> Thicker women fighting against skinny women. <laughs> Motherfucking bald head women fighting against women with hair. Motherfucking Spanish versus black, white versus black. Motherfucking yeah. Spanish versus white, everything. Like, this shit just, this whole bunch of beef going out here and we ain't talking about it. We talking about all this nigga hate. What? I think it's a lost trade on this side and a lot of trade quality we like. Damn. Yeah, but he lost me. What should I talking about? I think he has a joint too. Yo, but what's, Yo. The, what's that what's that on side? What's that? So yeah, we going hey, we about to get there. We about to get there. We we got multiple lives going on, so forgive me. You know what I'm saying? But we're having a great conversation. The dialogue is amazing. Man, I want to add my dog right there. Naturally not it. Like, stupid, you know what I'm saying? Man. The best lactation in Orlando, Florida. We got baby Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's one of the he's one of the uh, Florida newest emerging artists. Yeah, Florida 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 I got a question. Let's go back to this guy now. Pe Peach Valley scenario, man. Let me type it in up here. Damn, I said four. Man, where the weed at? What's up? It's my turn to roll up, man. I got you. Don't want to sit down. Hey, hey, that's for the blunt ass for the weed. Hey, bro, you don't got a. Hey, bro, you don't got a screen, but I really be hurting my feelings, bro. Stop. I asked for the blunt, not the weed. I mean, I asked for the weed, not the blunt. Hold hey, shout out the long way. Hold on, we got to shout out long way, bro. Let me pin your comment real quick. What a long way leaf shot, man. I know I got some somewhere. I know I left one in the car. Nah, I got them somewhere. But anyway, that takes us to another part in the show. Let me find these goddamn long way leaves. I got to shout out my boy, man. He's supplying me with the crazy smoke supply. I haven't had to buy any leaves, man. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest for everybody that's on the show. This is the best. The app. Hold on. I got to bring my boy 1032 on. This is the absolute best leaf that you can spend your money on, bro. I'm not even kidding. Um, and you want to know the craziest part of it all? My boy is from Central Florida, right here in Orlando, on the west side. You can only find these at, uh, what, uh, Americana, Pine Hills, 
um, Americana Pine Hills, and Crosstown. This is the only place you can find these. He handpicks these leaves. You feel me? Him and him and his uh, significant other, they hand roll them. So I'm telling you, they and they clean them too. So like, I don't know if any of you guys are used to smoking the traditional gravel leaves. I know y'all see these everywhere. Everywhere. Won't smoke them no more. We just got them just to show y'all that one fuck with them. We got these long ways, G. We got these long ways. If you're looking for him, hit me up. I'll send you uh, his page and your DMs. He got plenty of supply. But anyway, let's get to this next point, though. Let's get to the next question. 50 chances, 50 men. 50 chances. Thirty-two. You can hear me? What's good, bro? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Best to say, he take care of a woman. He should not diminish. Hold on, hold on. Hey, what? What fifty chances, fifty men mean? Oh, you need me to? Hold on, hold on. My boy asked a question. You need me to explain it real quick before we go any deeper. What is fifty chances, fifty men? So basically, I'm asking, shoot, um. And, and 50 chance, 50 men, women, whatever, whatever. Is would you rather would you rather give one person 50 chances, or would you rather date 50 people? 50 people. You know, and 50, 50 people. <laughs> so you are, so you just a hoe. Yeah, he's a he's a slot. No, nah, after hey, after that third chance is a wrap. Okay, so what if your girl choose 50 minutes over giving you 50 minutes? How you gonna feel? Is she a slut? Is she a whore? Damn, why you can't be all that? Hold on, hold on. But, um, shit, why she gotta be all that, bro? I'm, I'm asking a question. He said he ain't no slut or whore for fucking 50 people instead of, uh, So, so a man is a vehicle, right? And a woman like a parking garage. Now, if you, now look, if you fill that parking up, if you if you fill that parking garage up to capacity like that, you say what? I, I say you get. I, this is how I like to look at it. Like he just asked a question, like, is she a slut? If she got, you know, if she fifty men deep. So I say it's like this. I say it's like a parking garage. Like a man is a vehicle. If you can, if we can all fit our cars in the parking garages, we're looking all right, right? But if that parking garage take all them cars and lose its structure, then you know it is what it is. You feel me? It don't even you serve its purpose no more. That bit ain't yeah, parking and garage. <laughs> Goddamn, that bit is a pile of cement and metal. Goddamn, what the hell? Uh, but what what about the cars that's depreciating when they keep hitting the road so many times? Same shit. That's that bitch still gets you from A to B. <laughs> 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 you can still roll the windows down, and get a little breeze in your scalp. <laughs> hold on, hold on, they snapping up here. He said, "Hold on, if you take him another wife, hold on, man, I don't know what there. If people, I'll find the right one. I'm not giving no fifty chances." Ma, you didn't take your ass to bed. Hey, man, you too, man. What the hell up, bro? Hey, man, we... Hey, bro, I want your opinion. I want your opinion. Nigga's opinion, he's... He, no he, internet. You know, he's going crazy. Well, it's up there to ask 700. Well, hey, man... But the man ended his comment in a Bible verse. That nigga dick longer than the Nile River. Seven hundred and three hundred, man. But I know I don't. Hey, 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 nigga, what's what's up? What you doing? Fifty chances or fifty women? Come on, man. Bible, unless you know. 
Cause the hair, yeah. You gotta read that shit out loud. I need to tell him he's dyslexic, crazy, isn't he? Yes, yes. <laughs> what they say? 50 chances. I mean, 50 men. 50 chances, too many. Hell no. Nah. I don't know, man. Hell no. Nah. Nah. I, I, I guarantee you them 50 niggas ain't going to be better than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep burning. Yeah. Keep playing with the Lord. Man, I don't know, man. I have been a Jezebel. Jesse to the fully. Yeah. Titus 3 9, man. Damn, we can't even Google your verse. Uh, Mary, we use our phones on live, bitch, dog. Sorry, bro. Hey, if you don't mind, though, tell me what it say. He talking about Titus 3 9. He bringing up these verses. 50 chances of 50, man. Oh, schoolboy. Hey, money, what's happening? So the question is, um, 50 chances or 50 men, you know what I'm saying, or women, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What would you rather do? Would you rather give one person 50 chances or would you rather give 50 people one? Talk to them. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Me and my boy, we've been talking about it for a minute. And I'm torn between the two. 50 chances because you got to get to know somebody each time starting all over the process. Man. I'm gonna just deal with just one person. You know what I mean? It's like a point in relationship. Look, do when you meet a man, do they well, how quick they change? Well, it's been a long time for me, so I can't even tell you. See? See? And she probably cool with her fifty chance. But no, see that's what I'm saying. But like the, when you do the fifty the other fifty John, it's like you never make it to a certain point in relationship. Yeah, no. Right. So like, you like, don't even know how they gonna handle certain situations. How they gonna deal with her. you. Like, God damn, what what temperature you like the AC on, bitch? <laughs> damn. You shit, you might be freezing me, I might get mad one day. Oh, she said, look, he dropped the verse on you. What'd he say? What'd he say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mary dropped the verse, y'all. Hold on. He said, uh, and she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall, hold on, my boy got the big ass thumbs. <laughs> she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then she shall say, I will go and return to my first husband. For then was it better with me than now. Oh, I gotta read that bit one time. You gonna have to so, get the uh what? new generation version. Yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Well, I'm dumb. You gotta remember, bro. I told you, bro. You too smart for us, Mary. God damn, Mary. <laughs> not even, not even fifty out of the first couple of news. Like I said, fifty chances are way in my heart. I love uh, money. What's happening? It's very hard. Hold on, bro. I got to talk to money real quick. Hey, money, let me tell you something real quick. If I see you at the Magic Mall one more time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At Tip Top, you don't get no edge from me. We got problems. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the point. You got to ask money what's going on. Oh, yeah, money, man. Let me see you in. Money, let me see you in. So we have the five conversation, right? Kendo. Boy, hey, 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 boy, we just, hey. Hey, boy, we need to do the y'all here. Boy, hey, what? We might need. Hey, Kendo, you want to hop on? Hey, boy, I know you ain't talking, but you better watch your face before you hop on here. You better not hop on here looking greasy either, nigga. I know you probably sweating somewhere. <laughs> but anyway. That was ugly. What? You look like Beaver himself, hair back there, nigga. You crazy as fuck. Your dad, boy, got a big elbow. You better watch that, dog. <laughs> you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you look like Denzel off of John Q. You ugly as fuck. <laughs> 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 Hell no. Nah. Hey, what's up, man? We need to get your we need you to get your audio roll right though, so we can answer some questions, man. Get it right real quick. You ain't got no quiet place. 
<laughs> no, I can hear you. I can hear you a little bit better now. You can hear us. Ain't no way in hell. Nobody wants to be working for it. Good. Now get right. Money answer that jump. Hold on, we got a comment right on. Nobody wants to shut up. We're working together, building towards the foundation together. Then what's the point? Sex is not the sex is emotional, spiritual connection. That is not just to be shared with everybody. Yeah. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. What if this all right, what if what if what if the person that you're giving your fifty chances to is a knuckler? This nigga is, it, it got MMA in his soul, and he punching the shit out your ass every other Tuesday. And what I'm saying, what you gonna give him, 50 rounds? I'm saying, <laughs> let me know. I wanna know. <laughs> yeah. What is shit good? <laughs> yeah, is you, is, you, is you taking 50 naps for your lover? <laughs> is you buying for everybody? Man, some people don't already took 50 naps, huh? Oh, we got Zaza in the building. Zaza, what's happening? Hey Zaza, hey, quick question for you though. So we going real quick. Um, fifty chances or fifty men? What you doing? Is you giving one dude fifty chances or are you doing your fifty buck and, and and shooting the dice? Let me know how you feel. Shooting at a rope. Some people got some good luck though. They might strike out at, at like seventeen. You know what I'm saying? Strike out at seventeen and be straight. I don't know. If a nigga ain't on me, fifty man, on me, fifty man. Period. I'm not gonna get killed. <laughs> my boy Indigo say he'd rather just have him a couple soul ties. Damn, that's how cuz feel me. Cuz is a free spirit. <laughs> Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. <laughs> Yeah, but it's the second one you done rolled that one fucking part, bro. Next one gonna be mad. Ain't you smoking it? Have weight. That'd be like eating a sandwich with no mayo or miracle whip. Oh, well. What'd she say? If a nigga hit me 50 man, period, I'm not finna get killed. Wait, hold on, what? Yeah, she said she'd rather fuck 50 niggas than let a nigga beat on her 50 times. Boy, look at him. Hey, man. Okay. Situation. We were talking about tits now earlier, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think how to structure this question. Oh, so we were saying 50 chances of 50 men. Is you giving one person 50 chances? Or are you shooting your are you shooting your chance with 50 men? I'm 38 years old. And I ain't nobody put their hand on me. People do it in there. I feel me and make the fuck with me. The question don't apply me because I ain't taking a 56 period. I ain't gonna lie, boy. That's a whole lot of ham. Real, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm talking about. That's what it's gonna sound like. <laughs> Man. We're gonna call you No Walls Wilma. <laughs> <laughs> No, 50 chances. Yeah, man, give me 50 chances. Three what's had it. Give me 50 chances, baby. Because I'm going to fuck up, but I'm going to get right. I know, that's a tough Hey, 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 hey that's a tough one. I'm trying that's to tell you. Neither. neither ain't no choice. You got a choice to make. Put it like this, though. Look, if if you want, because remember earlier I said, what if, what if you was in a relationship and a nigga turned out to be a boxer? And the nigga Floyd Mayweather in your shit. Because you ain't wash the dishes or you ain't fold his clothes the right way. Shit. This is left, not right. What? 
<laughs> no, look, look, look. My best advice to you, baby. Hey. <laughs> Hey, you better take some MMA class. You better start knocking that nigga ass stop. Well, hey. <laughs> better get some hot grease. Let him stop. Let him stop. That's, that's a wee bit toxic, eh? What you say, man? Yeah, man. What's going on, man? Shoes. Let's shoot the topic up, man. What's been going on this week, man? Oh, Miss Hat. Oh, hello, Miss Hat. Might need to cover your ears now. We talk crazy in here now. Oh, love hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody say love is blind. She says it's hard to fight back or leave when you're really in love with that person. The sad yeah, thing is. Women give a 50 chance on the house taking STDs inside of bed and all kind of shit. See, yeah, that's crazy. Now you're 50 chances. See, now your wound fucked up. You can't eat pee straight. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. That's too much. Especially if it happened more than once. Y'all have supposed to be out of there. First time, nigga probably ain't know you give him a chance back. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'll I, I never do it again. It happened again, and you stood up. Yeah, I got problems, because you don't know what that nigga out for. He keep on catching STD. I'm trying to tell you. Like, who is your choice of women, nigga? <coughs> hey, man, man, what church you preaching at, bro? I need to come I need to come drop something in the offense. You know he in the pool, bitch. What? Boy, the club been dropping verses all night. Well, just man falling seven times and rising up again, but a wicked shall fall. What about... Man, he got the sound. He got a bomb sound. A real massage. Right, <laughs> well, that shit sounded crazy. I don't think that we got 50, bro. <laughs> Say seven times. 50, boy, that's steep. I got some homeboys that got 50 bodies easy. Boy, I got some homeboys that got 50 bodies in two semesters. <laughs> I'm just saying. I hear what you're saying, but bro, woo! Hey, so tired. We might as well go there. Uh, what is a soul tie? Man, we need Rodney on this job, man. Rodney, where's you at, bro? But soul tie, what is a soul tie? Y'all believe in soul ties? Y'all ever, hey, you ever had a soul tie? Woo! You know what I'm saying? That thing's deep right now. What it felt like? That thing deep right now. Is a soul tie even real? Oh, we got us a soul tie. I mean, damn, not a soul tie, but. Uh -huh. If somebody say soul ties are definitely real. Oh, she said, OMG, yes, like no, like no mother. Good soul ties. What a soul tie. Oh, boy. That shit deep, boy. You know me, I'm a Bodies are equivalent to marriage. So once again, King David had 700 wives and six and 300 con concubines. I'm just Dude, saying. Never what do you say? Season. Concubine. He say concubine. Concubine. That's like that's like surrogate yeah, wives. That's like surrogate wives that you don't need number of fuck for baby. Okay. Um, 700 wives yeah. and 300 concubines. Do you ever see wives? Why is so not a Oh, now that's a good ass mother sweating question. So my boy said, "Have you ever thought why they told us not to have sex until marriage?" See, I, 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 I definitely have my own opinion. He said because sex, sex is marriage, and Christianity doesn't teach that. 
Um, that's, that's, yeah, that's a good question. So, I mean, I think, I think they do the sex to a marriage because, because you don't, you don't want senseless procreation. You know what I'm saying? You want procreation out of purpose, especially, especially in the name of progress. But you know, you got people who, who fuck for pleasure. You feel me? So in that sense, that's, that was the purpose of of the tool in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That's why you don't have sex until you marry, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's just like okay, for instance, for instance, you know what I'm saying? Like in in Timbuktu, you know what I'm saying? Like I told, I said, I probably said this in the last episode. Yeah. Before you became a man, um, it took forty years. You feel me? So if you're just having a baby recklessly without experiencing anything, you don't really have anything to teach. So you're setting yourself up for failure. You know what I mean? So I feel where you're coming from, man. And I, I guess that's the purpose behind it. And I agree with it tenfold, especially because of the soul tie shit. Like, you don't want to walk around with these bad energies, you know what I'm saying, without having granted yourself the own opportunity to get to know yourself. Cause that's a lot of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, here you don't know where this person come from, what they've experienced, what they're dealing with, and you you may be their coping mechanism. You feel me? So now you're trying to deal with them and keep them happy, but shit, their happiness is costing you what? You know what I'm saying? You trying to you trying to fulfill that void at what cost to yourself? And that's why that shit get dangerous. What is that? Boy, she said you can have sex just for pleasure. She said that's fine, but after you're a pleasure, what happens next? I think your reproductive organs start doing what they're made to do. Sex is not for pleasure, however. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me add to what you're saying because I agree. I agree. Hold on, who said that? Merit. Hey, bro, I agree to what you're saying, but let me add to it. I don't disagree. Let me add. Um, I don't think, I don't think, uh, or let me say this different. I agree with you, and I think sex is solely for creation. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're creating life, whether you're manifesting ideas of business, whether you're manifesting an emotion, an environment, that's what sex is for. You know what I'm saying? You can create more than life with the womb. You feel me? Granted, you know what I'm saying, the only way to get here is through the womb, but at the same time, her womb is more powerful than creating life. You know what I'm saying? It's a literal portal. It's a literal dimensional portal. You know what I'm saying? It brings soul, souls from the ether into physical matter. Like, that shit's incredible. Man, are we talking about raw sex or rubber sex? So what if you throw in a rubber? Raw sex. Huh? Raw That's what I'm saying. What, what is nah, this? bro. Nah, all that shit the same. I'm just saying. Let me be a hundred. Let me. Let me be a hundred. It's all the same, but when you're doing raw sex, you're obviously sharing energy because there's no protection. Who give a head yeah. with a condom on? That's not happening. Bro, what the so, fuck y'all talking about? It is happening. Prostitutes doing all they sexual acts with with condoms. Some of next you I with a condom and then to a certain extent, the the sex raw sex going on. is like that connection. Like you guys are connecting. Y'all are bonding. Right about that. I'm just saying, gee. So, you're saying everything you, you hit wrong. What? What? What would stop you from? What would stop you from having this, having sex with a chick? Just, just for pleasure. I want to stop you. I like her mentality. You thinking. Off mm-hmm. rip. Her mentality. Off rip. You know what I'm saying? That ain't that ain't nothing she can express via words. You feel like that? Like you just having sex with her is just gonna make you take on her, her, her mentality, her personality. Oh, 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 oh! I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Nah, one hundred percent. It's science behind that shit, though. Mm-hmm. It's science behind that shit. Like, um, they call it microchimerism. 
You know what I'm saying? And what it is is DNA absorption. You know what I'm saying? In plain language. When you have sex with somebody, you're absorbing their DNA. And that was my point when you brought up the condom shit. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody giving head with... I mean, bro, I'm not having sex with... Her. I'm not having sex with no oral. That's dead as fuck. That shit is like play play. I'm a grown ass man. So you need that meat suck. All that. I'm trying to eat all that. Like all that. Yeah. Put grip on. I'm trying to like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. That crazy shit. So <laughs> but my point is if you trying to do all that, then you need to be married. That's back, not bro. that's not you just be doing that to every girl. Yeah, you can't just eat everybody that you shit. have sex with, like now, now, why are you supposed to wait to have sex until you marry? Because you're supposed to do it to your wife. Not get all these girls out here. 100. And I agree. But when a nigga do it, that's how he doing it. (laughs) You feel me? So, and I'm just saying, that DNA absorption shit is real. You know what I'm saying? You pick up, like, DNA is memory. You know what I'm saying? That shit like a memory card. You got to know. So you you picking up this person, Trace. You picking up that cat. Like, okay, and playing us. You ever notice, like, when you when you have, when you fucking with a chick and she go to picking up your lingo? And she goes talking like you. This chick from New York, but she's saying shit. Yeah, Come right. on, bro. That shit crazy. That ain't got nothing because she, okay, granted, she round you, but it's deeper than that. What if, right. you, never, what if you never had sex with her? She's picking up all that shit. Then that's a really good connection. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't out here punking everything. Y'all lame, but if you hanging around somebody that, that she's picking up your lingo, that means you guys are always together or always speaking to each other. Yeah. So y'all have a connection where y'all always around each other. That's all your senses tapped in, G. You know what I'm saying? Then you then you go to fuck with a bitch who got a, a, a certain smell, cologne or some shit. Every time a bitch smell you, now you think about a bit. Oh, uh, uh, you, you got a song. You got a song that y'all used to listen to or y'all used to have sex to or you might even just listen to her on a trip, listen to the song on a trip with her. Nah, that shit, you feel me? That's, that's the soul type shit. That's how it works. Right. You know what I'm saying? Think of being just your brain. Sorry. I mean, but that's the same shit. It's it's mem- yeah, it's a memory. It's a memory shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? DNA is memory. That's why, like, fucking, if your fucking parents are dark, you want to come out dark. Not necessarily. Not a lot of times. Because... Majority, we talking majority. Majority, but not, still, I think now. Exceptionally. No, I think a lot of times from, it can it can jump generations. Mm-hmm. So like Jermaine, for example, he only made light skin kids, but his dad white skin. He's not light skin. His mom was dark though. His mom's dark. And that's that's the but that's him the and his baby mom is both dark. They're both dark. And his daughter is light. But it's genetic. Yeah. You need to say got woolly right. hair and pigment. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I don't seen it happen before. It happens. I ain't saying it don't. What Mary said? He said, Jesus said, call that husband in the head of the woman. I ain't say it, said, it. Just remember, I'm asking questions. Put out half five I hope he is up. And you want to have your husband and you want to have my husband. I don't know. I don't even feel like understanding that shit. But yo, but man, I think that about concluded today, Moss Monday, man. Shit, we done, we did good, man. We brought up a lot of interesting topics. Um, no real education today, just all entertainment, man. We wanted to get on here and have fun. It's a holiday. We didn't want to take it too serious. Um, but before we get out of here. We want to make sure uh, y'all know what everybody got going on. So, shit. Remember, we got the number one lock kitchen in Orlando. Hey, fam. Before I head out, um, look out for my hair growth oil. It should be coming out within the next two weeks. Um, Follow me on IG and Facebook, naturally underscore naughty. All right, Matt. And then we got my boy, baby Jesus. Don't forget, he's the number one emerging artist in Central Florida, dropping all this hot heat on y'all. I'm going to let him tell y'all more. Super hot heat, man. Y'all already know, man. Y'all go follow the ID. Uh, I am I A M underscore baby Jesus, man. Y'all go follow that. You know, the hot shit coming. All motherfuckers, you know. 
stuff drop. You know, I'm everywhere. Apple, Spotify, Tidal, uh, anything you can think of, YouTube, whatever. We got videos coming out. I got an album coming. Y'all just stay tuned. For real. But yeah, though, man. Um, other than that, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Uh, as as always, it's been a pleasure. Um, catch me next Monday, 8 p.m. Dropping more gems on y'all. And remember, if you guys need some sea moss, gel, or pounds, I got you. You can always find all the products at highhue.co. You can find me on IG at high.hue. And you can find me on Facebook at just plain old high hue. Um, but yeah, man, y'all have a good night and always bye bye.